Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know on the truth about using hydrogen peroxide in your garden and what will happen if you use hydrogen peroxide in your garden. Now, I've used hydrogen peroxide in past few videos and some of you have expressed concerns about using hydrogen peroxide, stating that it is a chemical and it can be detrimental to your garden and your concerns are valid. So let's cover everything you need to know on using hydrogen peroxide in your garden and let's get started. So let's drive straight on and cover the fact that hydrogen peroxide is a chemical. Yes, it is a chemical and its chemical composition is H2O2. However, everything else in this world, in this universe is also a chemical. Even water is a chemical, which is H2O. Now it depends on whether it's a good chemical or a bad chemical. Chemicals could be good or bad. Is hydrogen peroxide a bad chemical? When hydrogen peroxide disintegrates, it breaks down into water and oxygen, which makes hydrogen peroxide non-toxic. So if it breaks down into natural elements, it's necessarily not a bad chemical. However, there are advantages and disadvantages of using hydrogen peroxide. Now my goal is to bring you the truth. I have no loyalty to hydrogen peroxide or hydrogen peroxide manufacturer. I am here to deliver the factual information that you need to apply the best practices in your garden. So what will happen if you use hydrogen peroxide in your garden? Let's cover that. When I first started gardening a few years ago, I filled my raised bed with the compost that I made myself. And in doing so, I made a fatal mistake. I used the compost that was not done decomposing fully. Now, I make mistakes and I'm really upfront about my mistakes because I believe that you always learn from your mistakes. After using the half cut compost in my raised beds, I could see my plants were struggling to grow and they were getting yellow, they were not getting enough nitrogen. So there was an anaerobic reaction going on in my raised beds. So whenever I would dig into my raised beds, I would smell this funky smell that you get from a decomposing banana underground or something like that. So I knew there was bad bacteria and bad fungi in my soil that were creating the anaerobic reaction and also locking up the nitrogen while the decomposition process was going on. So in order to rectify the situation, I used hydrogen peroxide. I used one part hydrogen peroxide to one part water and water my entire raised bed and that totally saved my plants. It helped to decompose the matter much quicker and the nitrogen and other nutrients were available for my plants to grow and my plants did really well. However, there was also a disadvantage of using hydrogen peroxide in my garden. While hydrogen peroxide kills the bad bacteria and bad fungi, it also kills the good microbes. Now as an organic gardener, what do we strive for? We want to make our soil living and we want to keep microbiology in the soil. So what does the hydrogen peroxide do? It sterilizes the soil and kills all the microbial activity in the soil. So only use hydrogen peroxide out in your garden if you absolutely need to do so. Otherwise, refrain from using it in your garden outside. I'll leave the links to those early videos on my channel in the description of this video. You can check it out later if you're interested. So when hydrogen peroxide decomposes, it decomposes into water and oxygen. And in doing so, it oxygenates the soil and promotes root development. It also helps to decompose organic matter much faster, but in doing so, it also kills all the microbiology in the soil, good and bad. So hydrogen peroxide is really good to use in your containers, where you really don't care about maintaining microbiology in your container, especially indoors. And there's one good benefit of using hydrogen peroxide indoors as well, and that it also kills the fungus gnats and the larvae of fungus gnats too. Now the correct dilution rate to add hydrogen peroxide into your containers or potted plants to get rid of fungus gnat is the same. It's a one to one ratio. One part hydrogen peroxide to one part water. So one liter of hydrogen peroxide to one liter water. Add this solution to your potted plants at least once a week and your fungus gnat issues will be over. Now I made a detailed video on how to get rid of fungus gnat. You can check it out after this video. I'll leave a link in the description as well. Now I use 3% hydrogen peroxide. If you use higher concentrations of hydrogen peroxide, you'll be using less of hydrogen peroxide and more of the water. Now you can also use hydrogen peroxide solution to soak your seed. And the correct dilution rate to soak your seed with hydrogen peroxide solution is eight to one. Eight parts water, to one part hydrogen peroxide. You can soak your seeds in this solution for about 12 hours. Now hydrogen peroxide is really good to disinfect your seeds. It prevents bacteria and fungus from growing, which prevents your seeds from rotting. Now hydrogen peroxide also helps to soften the outer shell of the seeds 
and helps you germinate the seeds much faster. Now, by the way, if you're wondering, that back there is not an artificial background. It's not a green screen. Let me show you. So I have cover crop growing right here and check it out. The cloud cover is looking absolutely stunning. Now, hydrogen peroxide can also be used to deter and even get rid of pests in your garden as well. And you can use the same dilution rate, 8 to 1 ratio, to spray your plants with this solution. And it can get rid of lots of pests, including aphids, spider mites, and white flies. However, you have to be careful. Pay attention to the dilution rate. If you use higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide, it can burn your plants. It can burn the leaves of your plants as well. Now another disadvantage of using hydrogen peroxide out in your garden is that it will actually reduce the fertility of your soil long term. Now on short term basis, it will appear to help your soil. However, since it kills all the microbial activity in the soil and you keep using hydrogen peroxide out in your garden, it will have detrimental effect to your soil. The microbes will not be there to decompose the matter and create rich organic soil for you. Now another thing you have to pay attention to while using hydrogen peroxide in your garden is that if you have any runoff from your garden that goes into a stream or natural body of water or a lake, it can actually be damaging to the aquatic life in the body of water. However, hydrogen peroxide decomposes rather quickly into water and oxygen. So if you don't have any runoffs, I would not be concerned. Now another really good use of hydrogen peroxide is to disinfect your gardening tools. You can disinfect your shovels, your trowels, and even your gardening trays. And you can use the same dilution rate of one to one ratio, one part hydrogen peroxide to one part water to disinfect your gardening tools. And if you like this video, I think you're going to like the video on the truth about using cardboard in your garden, which you can find right here. And I'll see you in another video.